Saturday's game against Southern Utah was one of the more bizarre contests for the Montana Grizzly football team in recent memory. Penalties and turnovers almost doomed the Grizzlies, but thanks to a late blocked field goal, the Grizzlies were able to avoid the upset at the hands of the Thunderbirds. Second drive of the game for the Grizzlies and disaster strikes early. As the snap bounces off the crossing receiver, a play that Bobby Houck says summed up Montana's performance on Saturday. Southern Utah gets on the board first with a 32-yard field goal, which capped a seven-minute drive. On Montana's third drive, Cam Humphrey made his return for the first time since he got hurt against Eastern Washington, but he also ran into troubles early on. He's sacked here, and it's fumbled and picked up by the Thunderbirds for their second forced turnover of the day, and they turn that into six as Isaiah Williams scores from two. Two yards out, the PAT misses, and it's 9 to nothing. Southern Utah. Grizz kicker Kevin Macias drills his first attempt, a 21-yard attempt, to get Montana on the board. Then on the first play of Southern Utah's next drive, it's Justin Ford getting his sixth interception in as many games, and he takes it all the way back for a touchdown as he skies over the offensive lineman to get across the goal line, and Montana takes a 10-9 lead. Trailing 16-10 at halftime, Chris Brown back in the game now in the third quarter, and he finds Cole Grossman for a 24-yard touchdown, and that makes it 17 to 16 Grizzlies. Fourth quarter now and Macias drills another field goal to give Montana a 20 to 19 lead. With just over three minutes left now, Southern Utah attempting the potential game winner, but it's Marcus Wellnell who blocks the field goal. And despite being whistled for 12 penalties for 125 yards, the Grizzlies avoid the upset and beat the Thunderbirds 20 to 19. Pat just said go hard, and I mean, I looked at Jace too, and we all just we just win. Jace actually pushed me into the pushed me in the back into the ball, so that's gotta give him some credit too, but. It's pretty nice. I'd sum it up as a as a gut check for our team to uh, keep their composure and find a way to win it. Because as you mentioned, there was an inordinate number of things that went against us today. Like I said, I'm proud of our guys. As a defense, we pride ourselves of winning the turnover battle. And I would sit here and say that we didn't um, play as great as we wanted to, but at the end of the day, uh, when it mattered, we stood up and we made the plays that I had to to win the game. So proud of the team. I mean, you just have to do that. You have to, you know, bend, don't break. When things don't go your way, you just got to bow up as a defense and make some stops. And that's what we try doing. The Grizzlies only have three more games on their regular season schedule. And next week, they'll be on the road in Greeley to take on Northern Colorado. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.